this is such an amazing sight to me because I spent a year looking for bees. And these are all bees. These are all solitary bees. They're really small. They're flying around. Uh, mason bees and different species. What people don't realize is there is over 20,000 species of bees. And these little guys right here are prolific pollinators, like this guy right here. And they're loving this cilantro flower. See him there? So these are all known as solitary bees. What solitary bee means, and here's actually a honeybee down there. You can see it. She's got big old bags of pollen on her. You can see her over there. She's kind of out of the way. Trying to get her around here. She's busy doing her job. And I've got cilantro growing all over the place. And it's such an amazing bee flower. And this is going to be chucker block full of seeds. And we'll have more of it growing next year. Now, these guys here have a purpose too. These little wasps here, these yellow jackets, are basically hunting for insects to eat. And they're all over the fly, all, all over the ground here, flying around. Now, obviously, if you don't stumble up on a hive, they're going to be fine. But they have a job too and they will eat caterpillars and other things. Here's a, here's a bee right there. Right there. So there's a social bee doing her job. If I can find her, it's hard to find on a camera. She's there she is, right there, where are you? There she is, right there. Right there. She's an old girl, you can tell by the, um, she's got like little bags on her. She's a dark colored bee. She's, um, she's really dark. She's very tame, she didn't really cluster. These guys here, these are boys. These guys here flying around protecting. These are male bees fighting for territory and ultimately trying to find a woman who's going to be coming and mate with a solitary bee. So they're just doing their thing there. They're like saying, hey. Maybe they are. That would look like they're pollinating there too. Now, how do you make a home for a solitary bee? Well, it's really simple. What you want to do is drill holes in, in the, and you can see these here, this has been capped with wax, capped with wax. You see that, these are solitary bees that have gone in there and made their nests. So at least two of the hotels have been used. So you can make your solitary bee home simply by drilling holes as little as two millimeters drill bit all the way up to 10 millimeters. Um, and here's some more. Look at this beautiful. I could sit here and watch these guys all day long. You just don't see this in Japan. All these little solitary bees flying around, protecting their, their garden. There's a, there's a Milliford bee. She's just going crazy. She's like manic in love there. Say she's she's a Milliford bee. She's an older girl. You can tell. She's just going about her business. Just making love to those flowers. That's what flowers want. They want that. You know, the size of a fruit or a seed, everything, the it comes down to how many times a bee hits a flower. Here's a darker bee here. You see this is a, this is a this actually looks more. Whoop, she's flying right to me. You can see here, she's a darker bee. And right next to her is a lighter bee, Milliford. They're two different species, genus of bees. This looks more like the, uh, the Japanese bee, really dark. This is probably the Italian, and she's got nice little salt pollen packs, and she's going crazy too. So they're just having a great time with this cilantro. 
So all this seed is going to drop down here and we'll have more cilantro next year growing. And we'll collect seed too. This is a health, healthy habitat. She's just looking up, looking up. I guess she's just going for nectar. I don't know. But she's pollinating all over there.